Hiya Hiya, and welcome to Plutopeter. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today I will be doodling a cute illustration of a corgi dog in a baked potato. Or maybe it's a baked potato costume, or it could be that he's part dog, part baked potato. Maybe it's a new breed. Anywho, if you like corgis or baked potatoes or both, please smack that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to see more of my doodles. I try to upload a doodle every day depending on my schedule. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. It really does help me and it helps my channel grow. Now let's dig into this doodle. So for my marker doodles, I like to sketch with a pencil that has a slightly harder lead. The one I am using is a H level hardness pencil, um, which means it's a few steps um, harder than your average 2B writing pencil. Um, the reason I use this type of pencil is because I use a very soft touch with my sketches, um, I don't too press too hard in the paper, and I find that it makes it uh, easier to erase once I'm ready to line in and do the coloring. So before I even start sketching, I do do some thumbnail images, and what that does is it helps me kind of figure out what I'm going to draw and the different ways I can draw it before I start working on the main sketch, because if I just dive right in to the main sketch, then I, the, my proportions might get out of whack and I'll have spent a lot of time drawing something really detailed only to figure out later that it needs to be somewhere else or it needs to be scaled up or down and that's no fun because that's like a waste of time and I might as well just start over at that point. So once I'm at the inking stage I will go around the outside also known as the contour um, of the drawing. I am using a Pigma Micron uh, 03 in black and this is the pen that I like to use with my marker drawings. Um, it works really well for me. It's a waterproof ink so I don't have to worry about it smearing when I use the alcohol based markers with it. It also works well with uh, watercolor too. So after I do that outside line I like to clean up the pencil marks a little bit more, try to make them lighter but I still want to be able to barely see them so that I will be able to see where I'm coloring. And as for the markers that I am using, I am using Copic brand markers. They are um, higher quality, they're on the higher end both quality and price, so keep that in mind if you want to try using alcohol based markers or just dabble in them because there are some cheaper brands out there that you might want to try first just to get used to it. That way, um, you know, these markers, they can be as expensive as like $6 or more each. So if you want to invest um, that kind of money, um, at least try to maybe learn how to use the alcohol-based markers uh, with a cheaper set first or maybe a smaller set. And then you can consider um, getting a bigger set in the future. That's what I did. I um, actually started with just a few of these markers to um, start off with and as I grew my skills I just kind of collected more and more over the years. I think I ended up buying a set at one point but it was a fairly small set so um, yeah it's a big investment if you do want to have like all the colors because they are a little more expensive. By the way, I'm sorry if the camera quality of this video or the lighting is off. I am still experimenting with my setup. Um, as you can see, there's some light that started showing up on the page because the sun moved um, as it does throughout the day. Um, so that's something that will improve in future videos. I'm still getting used to it. Um, I am looking into different cameras and microphones and whatnot so that I can produce a better quality video for you guys. But until then, this is all that I have to work with, so if you could just bear with me, I'm sure that the cute doodles will make up for it at least a little bit. So now I'm going in with a darker color to fill in the potato, and at this point I'm 
trying really hard not to overlap the other colors too much, but also not to um, leave too much of a gap between the two colors. It really just takes a lot of practice to get a nice smooth fill with these markers. You want to try to get it smooth and not have it be blotchy. Um, sometimes if your markers are running out of ink, they can produce a more blotchy appearance. And I had that problem with the last video because I didn't realize my marker was running out of ink. So that can be a little frustrating. Um, I'm probably going to replace that marker later today when I go shopping because it's one of my most used markers, hence it running out of ink on me in the middle of a video. So at this stage, I am going in with my Pigma um, Micron again, and I'm filling in some more details just to give a little bit more definition. Um, I'll also, I also tend to go back in with the markers and highlight some areas, give a little bit more shading, and this helps the design pop a little bit more. Um, so those elements are a little bit more visible and um, I'll also touch up with the eraser if I missed some lines earlier and just overall I'm going through and touching up the drawing. Um, I do like to add details with my white gel pen. I think it adds a really nice touch and I, I can also correct mistakes with it as well um, and it just gives it an overall fit more finished look. So before this video ends, I do want to ask our question of the day, because that is going to be a thing. Uh, what is your favorite baked potato topping? Um, is it something like sour cream, or do you like something weird? I for one like corn on my potato. I also like corn on my mashed potatoes too. Something about having both of those starches together is just like really comforting to me. So um, let me know in the comments, please. And um, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. I try to make these videos every day. And that is it. That is the finished drawing. Uh, thank you again for watching. And um, again, if you want to see more of these, please do subscribe. Anywho, that's all. Pew pew laser noises. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.